Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel, a channel where we share our love for primitive decor. This week I'm going to show you how I made some different things in the shop. I seem to be um, making a lot of these, the little candles, the 8 ounce. Mmm, this one is, ooh, that's plum pudding. So this is uh, sugar plum or plum pudding. Yeah, sugar plum. These I make a lot in the video, so I'm going to show you how I made those. Check that out. Blackened beeswax with a little bit of cinnamon dusted on top. These are my favorite, favorite thing to make. I mm, smells everything up so good. But I'm going to show you how I made those this week. I always seem to end up with a clip of those in there somewhere. But also last week I remember I told you about these uh, pecan candles, the little pecan top votive candles. I had told you, uh, someone asked me how, how they burn, if they burn running all over the place or if they burn just sting in their spot. Now I did put it, I'm going to show you a time lapse video that I did. I did put the candle in one of my candle plates, which I realize these aren't even listed on my website. So I'm going to try to get them out there. I usually just take these to the festivals, but I'll list these on the website. They're just a little black, cute candle pan uh, to protect your surfaces, to protect from a fire in case your candle gets out of control. But that's what I put in just in case. These candles don't have a uh, tab on the bottom so they burn out before they get down that far and I was curious myself too to see how they burned if they did run everywhere so I did do a time-lapse video uh, of these candles you can check that out now as it was burning be sure to watch the edge of the candle stayed true it stayed in a perfect circle so I don't believe it would run anywhere I mean I'm not guaranteeing it but I'll just show you how we burned it here it took about eight hours for us to burn this little candle so it burned really well I was very very pleasantly surprised I didn't know I mean the taper candles that we have so they do run some they're made with the beeswax is hard you can't hardly burn a taper candle without running a little bit so beeswax is a little bit more difficult they do burn uh, slower it depends on the ratio of the beeswax that we we do sell so that's what we did this week we tested these out as well I just saw some fly past the window <laughs> it's kind of scared me it was just a bird but um we have some video for you on that and also I did a short clip of these 
little grubby candles that we sell. Aren't they cute? I did show you how I pulled them out of the mold, how I poured them. I'm going to be doing some more of those. And I have two special treats for you that I'm excited to show you. Uh, have you ever been on a construction site or maybe just doing lawn work and had some trees cut and you find these little wedges that they cut out of the trees? Well, I'm going to show you how my father-in-law um, had some trees cut out and he likes kind of neat things like this. So I'm going to turn this into a slice of watermelon and I'll show you how I do that today. Two and one more thing. What was I going to show you? Oh, the beehive. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I wanted to show you, I do have a little bit of video. I made these in the past, but I made some again this week because I sold out. I have several of these beehives that I made. Isn't it cute? I just covered the bottom of this an old piece of corduroy, covered the bottom of a, of a, one second. Okay, you'll see it in the video, so I don't know why I had to show you, but I have what's in here ready to go in the bottom milk jug. Cover the bottom with, I don't like these ones with the ridges. It's kind of hard to find them without these, but if you can find a jug, uh, where did I see? I think it was Walmart that had, I just get them wherever they were the cheapest price at the time, so I've got lots of different jugs. Just wash the jug out, and then if you can get the one that's kind of heaped up, you know, at the top, it makes more of a yeah I did drop it it makes more of a beehive like this one if it's got the edges sort of curved up and you can just fill in the rope to make it thicker I like this is probably my favorite and I made a little hole here for the bees but you can make it however you like it they all look different um here's a different style I made this one's more of the box style with the little cone. These are very popular in the 1800s. They actually had real ones that they did with uh, cement and everything. But these are, a, you know, look alike. And I did make a bigger hole there just for something different in case somebody likes that more. So it depends on what your taste is. Again, we just cover the bottom with whatever fabric we have. This one is felt. That one is corduroy. And I'll show you a quick video of how I made some more of these because I did sell out of them. <sighs> Okay, but I'll warn you, the rope is super expensive. It's hard to find this rope that's, you know, cheap. So you end up making the beehive. It's expensive, but oh, they're so cute. Guys, they're so worth it. I think that's everything I have for you this week. Again, thank you for stopping back at the Cranberry Decor Stock YouTube channel, a channel where we share our love for creative decor. If we have earned your subscription and you like our channel, please be sure to hit like, share the video with your Facebook page, with wherever you can share it and uh, click that bell to subscribe and when you subscribe go over and hit all that way it just tells you when we release the next video that we can see what craft we mix and make the next time and another thing i'm going to surprise you with i'm going to make this video some flags some americana flags it's almost the fourth of july and i just thought it was fitting these are going to be handmade flags i often just make a flag for the dolls and sometimes i feel kind of guilty like maybe i should buy a nice primitive flag but you know What's the point? They all look the same. I I love the primitive raggy looking flags. So I'm going to make you a nice little variety of them. And uh, I'm going to stick with the fact that I think I like them better. Uh, you can make colonial style. You can just make a grungy primitive style. Whatever tickles your fancy or whatever uh, fabric that you have on hand. Um, this week we are going, tomorrow morning actually, Saturday morning, we're headed out to Ohio to... Um, the new building and we're going to clean up some trash that we dug out from the back of the building and needs to clean up there's a dumpster on site now so we're going to work on that this weekend but i thought i'd just tell you how how that's going i think that's everything guys that being said let's get started Thank you. 